factorial experiments factorial design of experiments oftentimes we are interested in um, looking at uh, the effects of uh, many variables um, think about that we were interested in uh, looking at the effect of some variables like um, temperature comfort humidity environment uh, the office layout things like that on the performance of the uh, workers uh, so when there are exhaustive lists of variable like A, B, C, D, etc. And then how that impact the response variable Y. If that is the case, then oftentimes there um, all levels of A, let's say small letter A, is the A levels of A and then B levels of the factor B and then C levels of factor C and D levels and so on are used. Uh, let me explain in using two um, variables only and then we'll extend that for many variables so in a factorial experiment for example if we are interested in only a and b factor then a levels of a factor and b levels of factor b then we need total a b a times b number of experiments to just complete one rep so one replication will basically uh, contain this much. Now if you draw this in a um, graph, um, imagine that we are looking at a um, looking at two different variables um, temperature 0 degree and then say 75 degrees. So two levels of temperature. let's define that as a factor A and then I got two levels of that A and then I have humidity for example 0% humidity and then let's say 35% humidity and that is my factor B which is humidity like that so Let's say I run this experiment and ask individuals, um, uh, I set a room at 0% humidity and 0 degree and then ask their comfort level from 0 to 10, 0 being the worst comfort situation and 10 is the best comfortable situation. So if I set the room at 0 and 0% 0 humidity, it will be very uncomfortable. Let's say that I get a response of 0 or uh, very close to zero so let's say zero comfort so all this response now I set the room at again that same percentage of humidity but I raise the temperature now at 75 degree Fahrenheit what I have here zero degree Fahrenheit and then I found a comfort level of say for example five so just increasing temperature the temperature increases the comfort increases to five now let's say I don't increase the temperature I only increase the humidity then say somebody just give me the comfort rating of 2 so the comfort rating only increases 2 now I increase both temperature and humidity right here let's say then I get a number say 9 out of 10 very comfortable now to see the effect of the variable A, so we can write the the average effect, the average effect of A, we can write that this way. So I can add all the high level of A uh, values. So all the high level of A would be 9 plus 5 the average it be divided by 2 because I got two numbers minus the the average low level of a which is uh, 2 plus 0 divided by 2 so if I do this it's gonna be this one is 7 
14 plus 14 by 2 7 this one is 1 so the average effect of a is 6 so we call that main effect of a main effect of a is 6 similarly we can calculate the main effect of uh, B so the main effect of B which is the B average effect you can calculate the total B high values so B high value is 2 and 9 so 2 plus 9 divided by 2 minus the average of B low which is uh, 5 plus 0 5 plus 0 by 2 so this is uh, 11 by 2 which is 5.5 uh, minus 2.5 uh, equal to then uh, it's gonna be 3.0 so that is the main effect of B main effect of B In the next video, we'll discuss the interaction effect in a factorial design.